If you are new to SIN 7 and you are trying to receive for one of the first times, you may have noticed that you have no specific locations to receive to. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create specific stock locations, bins and zones in SIN 7 so you can track the location of your inventory if you have a large warehouse with lots of aisles or a big freezer or coolers or wherever you store your inventory. So first of all, to do this, we need to go to the branch. And we can go to the branch from two different places. We can go to the CRM area or we can go to the settings area and go to branches, list branches. Once we're at a branch, we'll go ahead and click on the branch and then we see this little box that says branch locations and even a very helpful link to a very helpful article. In this article it tells us that we need to create locations in this area in a certain way and I'm going to show you how to do it easily on a spreadsheet then we can copy and paste it in there. So I mentioned freezer before some of you may be in the food industry so we'll cater to that for a second and then each specific location in the freezer, whether it's a pallet space on the floor or a pallet space on the rack, will need to be identified. And SIN 7 requires the format to be a space, then a dash, then the pallet position. We'll say P1 for pallet position 1. Then in Excel, we can quickly and easily scroll down to grab all of those. Now maybe you're in the clothing industry, you're a different industry, you don't have a freezer. Uh, you may have aisles instead. So we'll say aisle one and then let's say each aisle has <clears throat> five columns and each column has a pallet rack position or maybe you have smaller items and they're smaller, smaller shelving units then you may have a shelf instead of a pallet rack so you've got your aisle and your column and then the shelf or the rack so this one we've got aisle one and then we'll call each column a b c d column a column b column c column d and then the shelf can be one two three four so we'll say um, space dash a one, one, two, three, four, then space dash B four. Another thing we can do on Excel to make this easier, if you have a lot more than this, we can use the concatenation feature. We'll put C if we have four sections of C, A, B, C, and then put our concatenation formula in here equals concatenate space dash quote comma this column comma this column copy that all the way down so now we have some data that we've quickly and easily created in Excel probably have more than one aisle so let's copy this duplicate it paste as values and oh we'll, now we have two aisles and we can repeat that now, aisle one aisle two, aisle three, and aisle four. Now we can copy all that. Copy, go to SIN 7, right click, paste as plain text. So now we've got our zones and our bins. Click save and back. Go back to our purchase order and click on receive. And there's our zones. We first select a zone that we're receiving it to then the bin that we are receiving it to or received it to. Click Save, and it's received. Thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting. We'll see you at the next video. Be sure to comment below if you have any questions or comments about this. Give us recommendations for other videos, and subscribe so you can see the video playlist for the specific video you're looking for.